Hello everybody, hope you're all having a wonderful day. The title of this video is You Can't Avoid Slamming Into Your True Twin Flame With All Your Heart And There Will Be Fireworks. But it's okay if that's not immediately. Yes, that's all okay. It's, it's all part of the process, process and it's a process of purifying consciousness and re re removing the blocks to love and the blocks to all our good including our twin flames. Let go of control. Let go of the illusion of separation from the Creator. Surrender to Source. Allow Source to direct your mind, your body and your actions. The Source of Life and Love, a process of removing the blocks to that Source. Breathe. Allow Divinity to move through you. That's why you get results. It's about, well, it's not about filling your mind with information. You can access information whenever you want. The closer you get to the divine, the more shapes you get. The further away you get, the less shaping you allow. Allow the divine to direct your relationships and quick results are experienced. Choose to be as close as feels comfortable. You don't have to rush in to get as close as possible. Go at the pace that's, that feels right for you. It helps you with your relationship with your twin flame. You're here for the purification of consciousness. And as you get closer to the Supreme Being, it will bring you closer to your twin flame. And improved relationships in every area of your life. Joy in your career and home. The promise of a relationship helps you ascend. If you're feeling overwhelmed and wondering if you're on the right path, and you ask the Divine, what's the right action? How do you know that you're listening to the Divine? What tools do you have when all you see is blackness? Claim your support. Do the mirror exercise. It's the safety net. Although you do have to walk the path, you're not alone. If you feel lost, use the tools and ask for help. Some people do actually want to help. It doesn't make you any less spiritual or put any stress any more stress on the system asking is the same as giving you're really asking the divine and the divine moves through people to answer you the higher perspective always has the most dominion it's a growing building expansion of energy you're allowed to get lost in the way and still ask for help consistently love your inner child until he or she is confident in expressing themselves Remain present through the issue. That's how God treats you. No matter how many times you mess up, God sees a perfect divine child. The divine will wait for you to calm down and scoop you up and love you. We are strongest together as a community. And when brought together, a spiritual community can make great modalities. In our togetherness, in our union, we have power. We don't dip in and leave. It's a permanent state. So it's safe to be in union where we have our power, our full joy, our happiness and purpose. You're a good swimmer, but when he makes it rain, you can fly. It's worth it to keep close to source and be loved. You'll come alive, you'll be happy, and you'll extend that joy to the kingdom. It only happens in union. It happens in the heart. Asking is the same as giving. It's... The divine who asks through a person, it's the divine who gives. There's no need to control the process, it's only really an abundance block. Someone's calling for your love, choose to feel your feelings. Your twin flame is the thing that's unlocked all, the good, all these good things for you. Your, your life, your wealth, having your life in a nice order and your twin flame will bring wealth of all kinds to you from their background. When you're communicating with them, give them full space to express from the place where they're hurt. It's the same for you. Allow each other to express and heal through it together. Have an honest, open dialogue. It may be uncomfortable, but you're saying to them that you really understand their perspective fully. It's safe to discipline your twin flame when they're being lazy because laziness works against their good and what they love. If things get heated between you two, tell them, let's continue this, but from a place of peace. And 
it's safe for your twin flame to discipline you when you're being frantic, for example. It's okay if it gets messy. Remember, it's a spiritual journey. Relax and trust the divine, whose plan is very specific, particular, and perfectly orchestrated, this process. Nothing is happening that's outside the divine's will. Is this my twin flame? Where's my union? Where's my love perfectly reflected? What are they mirroring the blocks for me to work through? It's not about just getting with them. It's to resolve blocks to love until there's none left. No quitting on your dream. You can and will have your dream come true. That's a point of the work and the journey. But do your spiritual work first. When you press someone they have to tell you the truth and be authentic get close to the people who matter you can hover uh, at a distance and keep a dysfunctional relationship but when you get close it will have to transform do you love yourself truly fully and completely and unconditionally do you choose that you don't need to be perfect to be loved. Every child of the divine deserves unconditional love, truly and deeply. So give that to yourself now. It's safe to love yourself completely. Allow yourself the space to be fully yourself. There's a difference between choice and accomplishment. There's no need for confusion. You have it the moment you choose it. Choosing allows it to flow. Accomplishment, accomplishment is a waypoint in your expansion. Choosing yourself, loving yourself, giving yourself space, coming to know yourself is a choice that you make right now. It's okay to have high expectations, but not okay to deny yourself that love now. How, have your vision for your expanded self but allow yourself to have some of that joy now. It motivates far better than starvation does. Filling your inner well with divine nectar, it's not outside of you. Or in your twin flame or anywhere else. It's in you now. Allow that to overflow. Release any anger, control or numbing. Negativity comes up for the pure, for the purification of consciousness. It comes, for, it comes up for pur purification in consciousness. There's no other way but through. It's been there all along. It's safe to love yourself and allow the process to unfold. Choose commitment and devotion for yourself. An affirmation is not, have I accomplished this in totality? What you believe what, or what you believe is enough to have it. It's not that. Trust yourself completely. Forgive your past mistakes. Choose to work together with yourself and thrive in your life purpose. Choose to be stable in yourself and your relationship with yourself. Choose and then your choice creates your reality. The new choice directs the energy. Quantum entanglement is a gradient of possibility where all realities exist, except for when you observe one point on that gradient, on that spectrum. When that point enters your awareness, it attains form and solidity, and every other possibility closes you down. Choose just once. God chooses the best one, so let the divine choose for you. Just enjoy the results. Choose and creates it, forms it, makes it true. Align with divine truth and your whole reality becomes divine. Prioritize your evolution and spiritual growth. It grows your family and romantic compatibility and brings blessings, in divinity, blessings of divinity for your union. This is a central heart idea. Go deeper where your twin flame lives. They are your match at your core. Where your true twin flame, you can't avoid slamming into them with all your heart and there'll be fireworks because your twin flame is your heart and you are theirs as well. So yeah, there's really nothing to worry about. Allow the process to unfold 
naturally, gradually expanding, increasing, steady stream of love. You don't have to do it all at once. Well, that feels complete. I'm going to end this message here. I really hope that you enjoyed it and I hope you enjoy the rest of your day. And I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.